Hi, this is Mariam from Crochet Temple and today we're going to learn how to crochet this classic granny half square. And I have already taught you how to crochet classic granny square and I put the link in the description box. Two colors of yarns, 3.5 mm crochet hook, yarn needle and scissors. Let's get started. To begin, make a slip knot with your first color and chain 4. One, two, three, and four. Make a slip stitch into the first chain in both loops, the upper one and the back loop, and create a circle. Make a double crochet inside the ring and take this short tail with your line to hide it. My first double crochet is a single crochet plus two chains. And if it's too high, make one chain instead of two. Now add three more double crochets. You should have four double crochets in total. This is the second one, the third one, and the fourth one. Chain three, one, two, three. Make four double crochets inside the ring. One, two, three, and four. And this is how it looks like at the end of row one. Add in of the row, chain one, and cut the first color. Now turn your project. Take your second color and insert it between the first and second double crochet right here. And take this short tail along with you to hide. Take your second color and pull it through. Take this short tail and chain one to secure. Now make four double crochets into the same space. My first double crochet in every row is a single crochet plus two chains. And if it's too high, one single crochet plus one chain. Chain two, one. And two. Leave these tails and at the end of the work you'll hide them back and forth at the back of your project. Now into this chain three space. Make three double crochets. One, two, three, chain three, one, two, and three. And three more double crochets into the same space. One, two, three. Chain two, one, two, and into the space between the third and fourth double crochet, make four double crochets right here. Here's one, two, three, And four. At the end of the row, chain one and cut the yarn and pull it out. This is the end of row two. Row three, turn the project. Insert the hook into the space between the first and second double crochet right here. Take your first color. Chain one to secure 
and make four double crochets into the same space. My first double crochet is a single crochet plus two chains, as I told you. One, two, three, and four. Chain two, one, two. Into the next chain to space, make three double crochets. One, two, three. Chain two, one, two. Into this chain three space, make three double crochets. One, two, three. Chain three, one, two, three, and make three more double crochets into the same space. One, two, three. Chain two, one, two, and make three double crochets into the next chain to space. One, two, and three. Chain two, one, two, and make four double crochets into the space between the third and fourth double crochet. One, two, three, and four. And at the end of the row, chain one and cut the yarn. This is the end of row 3. I'll explain the rest. Every row turn your project, insert your hook in the space between the first and second double crochet right here. Take your next color, bring it in, make 4 double crochets and chain 2 into the next chain 2 space, 3 double crochets, chain 2 into every chain 2 space, 3 double crochets and chain 2. The only chain 3 that we have is into this chain 3 space that is on top of our triangle. We make 3 double crochets, chain 3, 3 double crochets, chain 2, make 3 double crochets into the next chain 2 space, chain 2, make 3 double crochets into the next chain 2 space, chain 2, and make 4 double crochets into the space between the 3rd and 4th double crochet. At the end of the row, chain 1 and cut the yarn. You can continue this for as many rows as you want. I hit all the tails and this is the end. Hope you liked this tutorial and don't forget to subscribe to my channel, write your comments down below, turn on post notifications and support me. I'll try to read your comments and answer your questions. See you next tutorials. Bye!